I came across that the Aeol actually gives off electricity, a sufficient amount, constantly. And um, I was wondering, can you use it to charge something, you know, um, a new source of energy or something? And they busted the myth, you know, that's pretty cool. But we're all curious and we're all counting on science to solve the problems of the world and help us be innovators in BC and that will help our economy for the future. So we know that kids of all ages need to be thinking about making sure they have the kind of education that will allow them to choose the jobs they want. And those are jobs that involve science, applied science and technology. It would take about 14,000 of these all put together to actually charge an iPod in a reasonable amount of time, being two hours. I think it's always good because we're examining where we can get energy from and different avenues and the biggest thing is that we're asking questions because uh, the whole carbon emissions thing, everyone's looking for new and innovative ways to create power, wind power, solar power, all that. So he asked a question and we provided an answer. So I think it was a good question overall. I want to pursue a career in science. It's something that I enjoy doing. Um, I'm also into sports and athletics and if there could be a way that I could somehow incorporate science in sports, you know, uh, that would be really cool and um, I have a passion for this. You know.